everyone, it's Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet. Um, today is Sunday, I don't know the date. <laughs> uh, and this is not really Charm Chatter, this is a, a special video. It, I know it's been a while and I apologize, I've been, it's life, but we'll go into that in a real Charm Chatter. Uh, so this is not a yarny video and if you don't want to watch, I understand. But I was told that some of you might enjoy a tour of my campground. So I did make a video last weekend and I went to upload it and record it uh, and realized that there was no sound. <laughs> so we just got back from the camper, I just got out of the shower <laughs> and um, I thought that I would upload this video, but I wanted to let you know that there will be no yarn in this video. It is a tour of our campground uh, and I do have a special guest. His name is Isaac. He is, I believe, 12. I've known Isaac's family since before Isaac was born, since actually Isaac's father was a teenager. And Isaac is making his YouTube debut. debut. Um, he's a very sweet little, a very sweet young man. And he, <laughs> he was nervous about being on YouTube and said he didn't know what to say and didn't know that he would talk. But he did do a lot of commentating. He did very good, and I'm very proud of him. So I'm going to try to combine this with the video. He was the videographer and partial commentator. He has been camping at this campground since forever, his whole life. Uh, and I've only been there two years, so he knows more about it than I do. Oops, sorry. And he did very well. So uh, without further ado, um, I will introduce you to Isaac in the video. And then we'll introduce you to our campground. Then Isaac also had a good idea. If you guys like this video, um, Isaac would love to make another one next weekend, uh, providing they come to the campground and do it in the evening so you can see everybody's campgrounds. A lot of people decorate with lights. Um, and so maybe you would like to see that as well. So off to the campground. Have a good day. Have, the <laughs> Have a good day. Hi everyone, it's Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet and today I have a guest. This is Isaac. Isaac is from my campground and as promised, we are going to take you on a tour of the campground. Yay! Yay! <laughs> we camp at? Cuddy Sunset. Cuddy Sunset. You have to speak up because it's going to be kind of quiet. Um, so we will try to give you a little bit of uh, a verbal as we're going. Um, so I hope you can hear it. I videotaped last week to do this when the campground was really full for 4th of July. Uh, but the problem was I had the sound off. <laughs> so now we have to redo. So we are in my um, golf cart, which if you can see my little butterflies, uh, they do light up, but you can't see it in the daytime. Um, and so we call this camp, we call our golf cart the social butterfly. <laughs> One of our um, camper buddies named it for us. I'm going to turn you around and you will see um, my husband is cooking and there's some friends and we're going to, they're cooking breakfast while we do a tour. We're going to come back to a cooked meal. Yay! Okay, so this is my campsite. Ooh, let's do it that way. My husband in the background. We have lights, which look really nice in the evening. But and your bird bath. Oh yes, we have a bird bath, and it's got a little fountain. It's solar, so it's kind of cloudy today. It's not shooting up very well. <laughs> but when it's bright and sunny, it shoots up maybe a foot. So that's kind of fun. Yeah. Right? Okay, you're going to hold? Yep. So you have to view where we're going. Okay. It's going to get loud because my backup yeah. camera, my backup thing is noisy. Let's go this way. What do you say? Yeah. This way? Okay. So this is the street I live on. This is where Isaac lives. That's my camper. And these are all of our friends. So try to hold it so we can make it zoom out further. If you hit, um, if you hit this button right here, it will zoom out further. I think. Kind of. I don't know. So try to get not that line, that line in there. You know what I mean? Yeah. So just give them an overview. So this is my street. We live in the wooded area of the campground. You can show me. Show the campground. We lived in the, in the wooded area of the campground. Um, 
and we chose that because we liked the wooded area and our friends lived there. So then we met more friends that live there and now it's the best place in the whole campground. I'm going to take you up. This is the front of the street that Isaac lives on. And he lives across from the playground. People are closing up because it's Sunday morning and people go home by Sunday, you know, usually around noonish on Sunday, most of the campground clears out. There's some tires over there and the playground and swing sets over here. Sandbox, right? Sandbox right there. And there's like you guys can play you can't play ball here you have a different place for that yeah right? so this right here is the potty right here's the bathroom and this along this back row is the end of the campground that's as far back as it goes we're about three campers away from the end and there's a farm on two sides so behind our camper there's woods and then a farm and there's isaac's dad and sister And let's see, this is where tent campers come and pull through, or just for overnights. Yeah. This is the kids' place. This is the kids' place. Over over there, you can see there's like little things, like fingers. over there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there's like a tiger cage thing where kids go in and like scream out roar and stuff. And they get pulled by the tractor, right? Yeah. And that's There's like a, a ride for them. That and then the little barrel train. Yeah. They can't do the tiger cage this year because of Corona. Uh, corona. And nobody's going into the kids' place this year. Usually they have activities every day. Um, so this is still the far end of the campground, furthest from the entry. Yeah. Most of these campers that are left here, this area in this side is a lot of uh, overnight campers just for the weekend, but they do have some permanents over here. But all along the back row is permanent campers. So we're in an area of um, Ohio called Louisville, which the biggest city is Hartville, which is not a big city. Yeah, and you, and in Hartville, there's a lot of shops you could get stuff for sort of lo low prices. So these it's are pretty fun. These are permanent sites where uh, the people have either vacated because of the coronavirus. A lot of people left this year, or yeah. they've taken their camper and gone on a weekend someplace else. Yep. Because that's the thing about campers; you can just take them and go. Yeah. Um, some people have RVs, some people have campers that you have to pull. Then we also have campers in the campground that are part, called park models. This area has a lot of park models, this area that we're coming up to here. Those are campers that you do not pull. The, they get pulled here and then they're permanent. And when people sell them, they stay on the lot usually. And that's this area. Very nice. Yeah. And over here is the swimming pool and splash pad. The splash pad hands. is over there. They're not running it because there's a button on the, a little pole that you have to swipe your hand on. And it sometimes it doesn't really get your hand fit to do it. So, yeah. so you have to turn it on when you want to play in it? Yeah. Ah, I didn't know that. I've never been in the pool. Pretty. I've never been in the splash pad. <laughs> The pool is pretty cool. It's it's there's a shallow end, a medium sort of end, and a deep end. And the deep end is pretty fun to jump in. You could do cannonballs and stuff, but you're not allowed to do flips. If you could do a flip, then you can't do flips in, in this pool because it's kind of shallow. So. So we're just gonna go around we're this just gonna pickup. go around the truck. Whee. So there is a speed limit of seven and a half. My golf cart does not have a speedometer, and so I have to gas. Now this is over here is where they are selling campers. People can't have them anymore, or you have boat storage. And then there's more park models up that road where that camper is going. And that's the last row of the campground. 
then and over then here. Up here is the office, as so you can see. The There's a garage, like right over there. That you that they work on golf carts and tires for bikes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. There's a basketball court over there. Oh, did you see it? Oh, wait, we'll come over yeah. here where they can see the basketball court. Yep. So you can't go. Oh, we passed the store. We missed the store. We have oh, a little yeah. store too. Yeah, to um, get goodies and stuff for the pool. And so this is like the this is where they keep everything almost. Mm -hmm. There's a tennis court on the other side of that barn. Um, oh, maybe and, we can see it better from over here. Yeah. And up here is a laundry room and a library on the other side. We'll pass that to show you guys. Okay, can you show them the tennis courts from here? There's the tennis court. And horseshoe oh, pits are over here. What's that, bocce ball? Uh, that's horseshoe. I think bocce ball. I'm not sure. And there's tennis and basketball. There's tennis and basketball. You can't really see the basketball court from here, but there's a ginormous tire. And then yeah, over here play. is a library. Uh, this is the I adult think. activity center. Yeah. A laundry room, library. They play cards in there. Uh, and games, and, and there's and, a TV and stuff. Isn't there a pool table in there or something too? Oh uh, yeah, something like that. And there's puzzles and stuff. And then we have a pond. It is a, they did stock it. It's a catch and release. And there are people fishing. There's some people fishing. They had a fountain in there last yeah. year. I don't know what happened to it. Why it's not. I think it got, like, I think something clogged it. Oh, okay. Or something like that. I'm not sure. Then up in this building here is, um, the, well, this tan building in the far distance. That's where they would do bingo, bingo which we can't do stuff, now. Because of the coronavirus. And so they would have like meetings and whatever yeah. in there. And then this is a little um, deli it's ice cream a store. Right. Deli restaurant Breakfast, ice cream store. Lunch and dinner if you want it. And ice cream. And ice cream, yes. Let's not forget the ice cream. <laughs> yeah. And then this, you can see it says Welcome Cutties Cutter. We have a sewing group that is here. Uh, and I think they get together on Wednesdays and yeah. they social distance that room so the ladies can still come and sew. And they sew things and donate it to a, a local hospital. I don't know what this room is. Do you? Uh, no, not really. I think it's more storage or something. Okay. Then Last there's... night there was a little concert and people sat at the pick tables and two guys played pianos and sang songs for people. There's and a little. Then you jungle. brought your golf cart. Yeah. So when they have. They also have pool parties. They used to last year. They haven't done it so much this yeah. year because of social distancing. Yeah. Uh, and, and they do, um, that kind of stuff is over here. And then in this field in front, they have, uh, They again, have car shows and they have like dodgeball and Right, football, if you wanted to play ball, you would come like over that. here. But they do a car show every year. And there's army tank. there's not tanks, but there's army trucks. And over there, there's a burnout pad. As you could see, and cars do burnouts there at the end of the show, and it's pretty fun. Then this is the end Here's. of the campground as far as the the park models were on one side. Um, the office is at the front side. This is the, from the office, this is the left side at the end of the campground. And you can see in the background, that's the farm. Um, and there's more park models and campers in this area. And so this is the same side of the park that our camper is on, but we're at the other end. Yeah. So this is the front end, we're at the back end. Most of the campsites are sewered, um, so if you've never camped, you won't understand that. But if you're uh, ever rb you'll understand that that means that they're hooked up to a sewer drain and and um, you don't have to have someone come or empty yourself your uh, yeah. your dirty water tank. Yeah. Then over here is still going along the outside edge, and there is a creek. There's a creek right here. It goes pretty far of a distance. Then over here, there's like a little thing where it stops, and then over down there is a little more of a creek. They have a, a bridge that we'll be riding yeah. over that runs over the creek. 
The also, creek does flood when it rains really hard. We yeah. had flooding last year when there was a great deal of rain. Um, it flooded here and it could be really dangerous. Yeah, it can. Um, so now this, the, road, the side road doesn't go all the way around. So now we have to drive through the campground just a little bit. Uh, we'll, we'll take you a little bit of a tour through the center. And these are just permanent campers. Most everybody here is a permanent camper. Yeah. And they, you know, set up your campground, your camp space, however you want to set it up. Um, some people are more elaborate. Yeah. And some people are less. Mm -hmm. This is our home away from home every year, or every weekend. We try yeah. to come out here. Hang out with friends and stuff like that. So here's the front side of the pool, and he can, uh, Isaac will also show you the little store. There's a store, there's ice, and it's places you can park bikes and stuff, and some bike racks, stuff like that. And our little pool. The, the, pool. the pool is round, which is so yeah. unusual. I, I think this is the only place I've ever seen a, pro, a, a indoor, I mean an outdoor round pool. Usually yeah. they're always rectangular. Yeah. Here's a big bathroom that has showers and stuff in them. Right size boys, left sides girls. You didn't so know this that. is back to where the mostly where the um, weekend campers come. So now we've kind of gone all the way around. Yeah. But this right here is called the teens place. It's where teenagers hang out and stuff like that. But mostly they can't do that again this year. Yeah. So everything, every all the hangout places are kind of closed up because yeah. of social distancing. Yeah. Uh, and then this is the road that takes us, since, since the outside road doesn't go all the way through, we have to kind of cut through and go back. So now we're going back towards our camper, but you get to see uh, the inside pieces. of the campground yeah. and we'll be coming up our road here in one second and on the outside of the campground there's a lot of farms and all kinds of stuff like 10 15 minutes away there's this place where you could get wine and stuff like that yeah there's a real cool wine place where they yeah. sell their own make and sell their own wine and they actually have this thing they do there every year. Um, my family usually goes there and we just play around. There's a place where there's corn and stuff. Corn mazes and stuff yeah. in the fall. Yeah. And then Hartville, which is the bigger city than what we're in. Hartville, if, if you Google Hartville Flea Market, it's a big deal. Yeah. Um, people come particularly Labor, uh, Memorial and Labor Day weekends, this place is so packed. There's like yeah. a million people will come. I mean, it's ridiculous. Yeah. They had to close the flea market. Um, they'll open it, it's open now, but they do yeah. not open it for Memorial yeah. weekend because it would bring too much of a crowd and that's not allowed. So now we're back to our campsite. And that is the tour of our campground. campground. Home away from home for the weekend. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.